let's understand what exactly hatch waxman act is the hatch waxman act officially known as a drug price competition and a patent term restoration act is a significant piece of us legislation passed in 1984 it was designed to strike a balance between promoting innovation in the pharmaceuticals industries and ensuring affordable access to the generic drugs. This complex law encompasses various aspects related to drug development, the patent protection, the regulatory approvals, and the market entry for both the brand name and the generic pharmaceuticals. Let's explore each aspect in detail. Hatch Wexman Act has a profound impact on the pharmaceuticals industry, which fosters the competition in the market, which often leads to low drug price for the consumers. However, it is included the provision of incentivized innovation by providing a period of exclusivity for a brand name companies. Now, the term patent and exclusivity, where it comes from. To let you understand about what exactly the difference between the patent is, the patent and exclusivity operates in a similar way, but are governed by the distinct regulation. Patent are a form of a intellectual property protection granted by the US patent and the trademark office at the various stage during the development and encompass a wide array of claims. Whereas the exclusivity pretends to a specific delay and restriction on the approval of competing drug as stipulated by the statutory provision that become effective upon the approval of drugs for certain supplements. To be eligible for this exclusivity, a holder that is a new drug application or an abbreviated new drug application must meet a specific requirement which are outlined in the 21 CFR. It is also worth noting that the period of exclusivity and the patent terms may or may not coincide. The primary objective of exclusivity is to strike a balance between encouraging innovation in new drugs and enhancing the public access to the medication facilitated by the competition for the generic drugs. Now, how much duration is been provided? The patent term duration has been provided by the US Patent Office. Currently, the term of the new patent is of 20 years from the date on which the application for a patent was filed in the United States. <clears throat> now the exclusivity period duration. There are around seven different type of exclusivity which has been granted by FDA for this. One is the orphan drug exclusivity which lasts for seven years. Now what is orphan drug? Orphan drug is a regulatory insensitive provided by US FDA to increase the development of drug for a rare disease or a condition, which is not likely generally happening into the patient population, but it is very rare kind of disease. If any company who develop a medicine to treat such kind of rare disease, they get a specialized exclusivity, which is known as an orphan drug exclusivity, which have a right for exclusivity for seven years. Now, the second is the new chemical entity, generally known as NCE exclusivity. It persists for five years. It is a regulatory insensitive procedure by FDA to encourage pharmaceuticals companies to develop and bring to a market innovative drug that contains an active ingredients that has never been previously approved by FDA in any other. To be in a sense like purely new research or a new medication research, which it will never been approved by FDA. If some company come up with such kind of molecules that are being granted with the NCE exclusivity of five years. The third is the generating antibiotics incentive now, that is gain exclusivity, which adds five years to certain existing exclusivity. That means in this law is designed to promote the development of new antibiotics to combat the drugs resistance bacterial infection. Under this GAIN Act, a specific type of exclusivity is granted to encourage the development of these critical drugs. Now the fourth one is the new clinical investigation exclusivity. 
which holds for around three years. This new clinical investigation exclusivity is specially uh, provided to the pharmaceuticals industry, which encourages the companies to conduct a new clinical trial and investigation for already approved drug. This exclusivity period grants a benefit to a manufacturer, including market exclusivity, to reward the investment in additional clinical studies. The fifth type of exclusivity is pediatric exclusivity. It's also an, it also extends the extent existing patents or exclusivity by six months. So this is for which uh, is known as pediatric exclusivity. Means there is already existing exclusivity, but with the new additional finding on the pediatric study, with the existing uh, date of exclusivity, uh, the company has been provided additional six months for that particular existing exclusivity. This is known as pediatric exclusivity. Now the sixth one is the patent challenge. It remains in effect for 180 days, applies to only ANA. No ANDA holder is been applicable in this, means NDA holder. Only it is for the purely generic ANDA holders. This is in context of Health Waxman Act, is a regulation provides that applied specifically to the generic drug manufacturer seeking approval to market a generic version of brand name drug. This provision allows the generic manufacturers to challenge the validity or enforceability of certain patents held by the brand name manufacturers. And the last one is the competitive generic theory, which is also known as CGT. It operates for 180 days and it's applied for ENDO. Within the context of the Hatch-Waxman Act, 